Hey everyone, um, I am just off the phone after an awesome, awesome start to my day. I've just spent an hour with one of my really good friends and colleagues and mentors, a man who I love dearly by the name of Nick Fitzgerald. He uh, has an awesome, awesome company called uh, Friendly Giant Films and he helps entrepreneurs to tell their story. And I asked Nick to spend some time with me this morning. We've just put together a video, which I'm going to be super stoked to share in the membership area, which is all about how we can use the power of storytelling within our corporate existence as well as um, you know in life and, and in business and in general. So um, we've just spent an hour, it's been awesome, and Nick took us through his framework around storytelling. He's got a nine-step framework. I always think of it as eight because um, the final step in the process is do it now, don't wait, which it's it's funny. I, I go through those eight steps and then and I'm so programmed now, I just boom, go out and do it. So Nick has this framework and it's awesome and he's just spent um, the time to to take to talk through that framework with me. Um, we used an example and, and actually started to look at how we can blend the storytelling into um, the way that we still tell stories in corporate, whether it be a presentation, whether we're doing a project pitch, all those sorts of things. And so um, I think one of the key takeaways for me out of that whole conversation was really around this blend of um, story and data. So what's really exciting is that Nick's actually, he's had this conversation before and, and and we had this moment where we're like, why haven't we talked about this earlier? But this idea of pairing data with story, uh, you know, and often when, if I find myself asked to put together a presentation, um, whether it be for a client, whether it's, you know, I'm helping a client work on a presentation, it, um, it Often what happens is I, I find ourselves in this place where we start to like rationally lay out the facts and we do a lot of background and we do chronologies and we, you know, and, and sometimes uh, we will we will work with executives who like to see the end at the start or um, or maybe we go through and, and we kind of go through that process and then we cull a bunch out and, and get to the core. But it's it's very sort of based on presenting the facts and presenting the rational argument. And uh, I, I feel like often we miss that opportunity to build that connection and that passion. And so one of the beautiful things that Nick was talking about was how to bring that human element into your storytelling and how to, how to add that in so that you're building that connection with your audience and, and that becomes part of this sales message because essentially what we're doing is selling that message or that idea, right? And, uh, and so, yeah, he talked about the pairing of data and story together. And as it occurred to me, I thought we could spend hours talking about this topic in itself, because a lot of you who have gone through my programs or worked with me before know that the first thing that I teach is around uh, understanding and listening to and observing customers as they interact with an organization and, and capturing those interactions and then starting to build an organization that is responsive to those reactions and starting to line everything that that organization does up behind what it is that customers are asking of us. And, and so within that method, there's naturally this element of bringing in the data around how many customers have this type of problem. Uh, and as you go deeper, there's the, naturally those stories evolve. I still have stories that I tell about a guy who uh, was in Sydney trying to get his internet turned on and he'd, the service had been connected, but it would drop out intermittently and this person would call up every month and he just got trapped in this cycle of he'd open a new ticket and then it would auto close after 30 days and then he'd ring back and they'd have to open a new ticket and it'd been going on for like months and just the pain and suffering of this person who's trying to get their internet connection working. Um, you know, so there's, there's naturally those stories that come through when you look at what it is that customers are asking, um, you know, the type and frequency of what they're asking, but also the, those very human stories that as you start to follow these customers through their journey, um, as they trans transition through your organization and try and get what they want, you're naturally building that story as you go. And so, um, yeah, it was, it was great to talk to Nick this morning and, and just fire off another idea around, actually, we need to spend some time going through what does it look like to build a story and the data and to pair those two things together and to present that in a way that builds this holistic view of what the thing is that you're solving? Um, so I'm really excited to get stuck into that at some point. That's, um, that's just gone on the list this morning. 
but equally, the shout out today is really around who else wants to join this conversation? So I know that big data is important. I know that there'll be heaps of you with your heads down and trying to build data lakes or build pair data sources together. If there's a bunch of you out there that are going and capturing customer demand and going, what do I do with this now that I've got it? How do I put it into, uh, an, into a presentation or an authentic conversation? How do I use it for influence and to, to drive change in the organization? Uh, and so the shout out today is really, the, if, if you want to be involved in the conversation, stick your hand up because... Nick and I are about to go off and, and start experimenting with a whole bunch of stuff. And I would love for anyone in my community who's keen to be involved. Um, we're looking for real life examples. We're looking for, you know, crafting this process together, building this process and this framework and, and building a way to start to tell our stories and to really hone in on what's that repeatable pattern around building story and data and putting those two things together so that's the shout out for today if you're interested if you're curious um, hit me up email message comment down below whatever it is um, but raise your hand and let me know because I think it would be really cool to start to bring a bunch of us together in this conversation and uh, yeah really to to just to start to put this different spin on things, you know, Nick has had a corporate career um, and and uh, and now has his own business working in storytelling. He's also worked for um, filmmakers in Hollywood, so he brings us. He he understands our world, but he comes at it from that creative aspect. He's a storyteller and he's a filmmaker and he's um, all of these wonderful wonderful things that he he brings that aspect into it, and so. For me, I find it really beneficial to work with someone who's on that, that creative side weaving into some of that more hardcore nuts and bolts business stuff that I'm trying to work with, um, rather than necessarily starting on this side and trying to get to the storytelling, which is where I sort of find myself a lot. So yeah, that's the shout out today. If you want to be involved in the conversation, hit me up, but get hold of me. Um, I'm keen to take this a little bit further, kick something off. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome, awesome day and uh, go and have a bit of a think about how you start to weave storytelling into what it is that you do, but like consciously craft that story. Um, oh, and if you would like Nick's framework, um, you can head over to friendlygiantfilms.com and he's got a little PDF that you can download too, which is super cool. And that'll give you some structure around how to tell a story and weave that in. He's got a whole bunch of other tools too. Um, but yeah. Wherever you are in the world today, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. My day started off with a bang. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm going to go and uh, dive down a couple of rabbit holes this afternoon. And I hope that you're excited and pumped up and uh, about to do the same. Thanks very much.